In this video, I'm gonna show you five awesome artificial intelligence tools that can streamline your content creation flow and make everything work for you so much smoother so that the process from coming up with ideas to actually posting your content, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or any other platform is a seamless, easy, frictionless process. You may not know it, but this is gonna be one of the most important videos that you've probably watched this year if you haven't already seen a video very similar to the one that I'm doing right now because this is going to help you with your content creation and growing on social media and growing on YouTube or any platform for that matter if you are a video creator. And so I wanna to talk to you about two different tools today that do the same thing but one of them does them better. And I only mentioned the first one because it's very popular and it's going to come up in any conversation. But this first tool is called Get Munch. And what Get Munch does is it allows you to upload YouTube videos by either uploading the file or pasting the video link. And then it will create short clips from the video for you. So instead of you sitting down or having someone sit down and then go through hours of content searching for relevant moments, it uses artificial intelligence to recognize keywords and some type of probability uh, statistical analysis to where it understands this is probably going to be a good piece of content because of what's being spoken about at the moment and it makes clips for you. And so I want to show you very briefly what Get Much does and then go over the pricing plan with you. And then I want to show you what I believe to be a better alternative and what I'm actually going to be subscribing to. And so this is a video I uploaded or this is actually a video I've recently posted on YouTube about a sneaky way to get monetization for Instagram content, and I labeled it test. So let's look at it and see what's actually going on in here. And so once we get in here, we can see that the keywords within the video have actually been pulled out, and Munch gives us a lot of statistics on the back end. That's something that I wanna make sure I point out to you. So you have the keyword search volume right here, and it could be pulling this data from uh, Google Trends or Google Keyword Planner, I don't know. But if I click right here, it will show me the clips at the bottom that match this particular keyword. And so engagement, I can click on that, and it shows me the, the clip that it made based on that keyword. I can go down here to captions. There are two keywords I have based on captions. And here we can see the top trending keywords and the six clips associated with them. So content creation, statuses, income, artificial intelligence, posting, branded content. And so let's click there and then we have that. But in total, we know that it gave us 10 clips. We can filter by duration. So let's say I'm looking for shorter clips. All I have to do is drag this down. So I want clips 15 to 30 seconds. And then here are all of my clips that are 15 to 30 seconds. Then we have popular, this is in beta. Here we have a brand section and I'm led to believe that these are the brands that I mentioned within the videos. It's the same thing with people, keywords, topics, social networking, content production, media industry, web conferencing, marketing and advertising. I don't know where web conferencing comes from. And so with Get Much, you would need to go through and watch these clips to see if you like them or did not like them. Some of them are okay. Many of them, uh, I'm kinda like, eh, not so much. Again, there are so many different analytics that they give you to look at to see how the content you've already created will most likely perform. But in my particular situation and the way I create my content, this is kinda superfluous for me because I've already done this work well before I even created the video. So it's kind of irrelevant. And I'm just really looking for something that can find the best clips for me. But let's say that you did want to sign up for Get Much and try it out for yourself. They only have two plans. It's $49 a month for the pro plan. And then they have a custom enterprise plan. And when it comes to your auto clip projects, you can upload a maximum of 100 minutes per month. That's an hour and 40 minutes. And there isn't much customization that you can do to the clips that it generates for you. The second tool I want to talk to you about is called video.ai and it's actually better than Get Munch in my personal opinion and I'm probably going to be signing up for it as soon as I finish this video but this one so far is the best that I found 
and I haven't found anything like it ever, but it does the same thing as Get Munch. It takes videos and it actually finds relevant clips within the videos. And so I uploaded the same YouTube video to video.ai as I did to Get Munch. Get Munch was able to find 10 clips, but video.ai only returned me with two clips. Also, I'll note that video.ai does not give you the statistical analysis and breakdown that GitMunch does. But again, in my particular situation as a content creator, I don't need that because I've already done the necessary work up front using vidIQ. If you don't know what vidIQ is, vidIQ is a tool that helps me find keywords that people are searching for on YouTube so that I can make sure I'm making relevant videos every single time I press record. vidIQ ties directly into my YouTube channel and gives me an audit of my content so that I can know what's performing best, what's performing worse, and what I need to double down on so that I can make sure I'm always growing my YouTube channel. It gives you daily ideas for videos based on the videos you've already posted. It helps me keep track of competitors with content that is similar to mine so that I'm always challenging myself to grow and do better. It even lets me know which videos my subscribers are watching, what channels they're subscribed to, and the best time to post my videos because it knows when you guys are online. If I need to make an update to the tags on my channel, I can do it all right here in bulk and quickly change the tags with the simple click of a button. But it doesn't stop there. When I'm ready to upload a new video, vidIQ will give me AI title recommendations. All I have to do is type in a few words and AI will give me a description for my video. I can even type in a few words and get the same thing for my thumbnail. And yes, you can edit the AI thumbnail right here in YouTube before saving the thumbnail to your video. And then if I boost this video, it's going to help me get even more views by showing me relevant tags and keywords to use in the description and in the tag box. And their latest feature is an AI personal coach, which is most likely a chat bot that is tied into GPT-4, but has been personalized and fine tuned for YouTubers that you can ask any questions to just like you would chat GPT, but you're going to get answers specifically for YouTubers. If you haven't been using vidIQ to create your content for YouTube or even the other platforms by understanding what people are actively searching for online, then you can use the link in the description to start using vidIQ for free today. But before we download the video, we want to make sure that we edit it. We see that there are several different templates that we can choose from that will automatically be applied to this video, which makes editing so much easier and saves so much time. And this is why this is so important because it creates leverage for content creators, especially if you have an online business on the back end of your content, which is something you definitely should. So I like this template right here because it actually has the title at the top and it's going to let people know what this reel is about when they first see it, which is very important. Then there's cut magic. Again, there's the subtitles. If I had a paid plan, I would be able to upload custom fonts somewhere, probably right here. I can add elements such as images or other videos, a progress bar, logos, outro, different things that are also included in a brand template, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Here you can edit your text manually or add text, and then you can change the backgrounds or upload an image. These are the stock backgrounds. We've already seen some of these in other templates that they've used, and this will be where your brand kit backgrounds are, where you upload your own images, designs, and graphics to customize your content so that it has your look, your feel, your tone, and your brand's voice. And once you're done, you can save the draft or you can save this as a template. So you can come in once, design your reel with your templates, your brand kit, your fonts and everything once you have your paid plan. And then you can save it as a template and use that every single time consistently for all of your content. But once you're done, you click download. You can download 720 pixels for free, but in order to download in high definition, you must have a paid plan. If we come back to the home screen, you click on media, You'll see right here that there's brand kit and then there's my templates. So you can set up more than one template if you want to, but you have to upgrade to actually do it. If we click here on brand kit, you'll see that you can add a logo, 
an outro. So if you want an outro card where you tell people to subscribe to your YouTube channel or to follow you on socials and you want it to show up on all of your content without manually going in there and adding it every single time, this is how you do it. You have color palettes you can set up, fonts that you can upload, video backgrounds that you can add, images, and even videos. This is definitely a game changer for anybody who creates long form content like YouTubers and who want to quickly repurpose their long form content into short form content so that they can continue focusing on long form content. And compared to Get Much, the price is beautiful. If you want to see the price, all you have to do is come to this upgrade button and click there and you see that they have a free plan. And on the free plan, you get 75 minutes of upload. I want you to remember that you only got one hour and 40 minutes or 200 minutes of upload for $49 a month from Get Munch. And video.ai is giving you 75 minutes for free, but you can only download in 720 pixels. That is not high definition. Those videos are not going to be the best quality. This is what they'll look like. So as it stands right now, Instagram is literally... It's not horrible, but it's not the best either. And who knows, maybe this is the way you want to go because there are some AI tools that can take a video of lesser quality and make it shine brighter. But the second plan is $2.99 a year or $25 a month. It is half the price of Get Much. But in my personal opinion, because of the ability to customize your short form videos, it is twice the value. And sure, it doesn't return as many clips, but the clips that it does return are very focused and are very good. And even more than that, you get 3,600 minutes of upload per month. And you can upload three videos at a time, unlimited editor drafts, branded templates, custom fonts and designs for half the price. You don't get priority support, but I'm not really sure what type of support I would need with this type of software. And then they have the and then they have the business deal, which is $4.99. And then they have the Pro Plus plan, which is $4.99 a year. But most people will not need this. And then we have the pro plan, but most creators probably won't need the pro plan unless they have plans of taking over social media like Gary V and uploading 180 pieces of content every single day to all platforms because Gary V is even on Clapper like he doesn't miss. So now I want to show you one of the best tools you can possibly use for YouTube. Let's say that in your content creation process, you use Brian Dean's skyscraper method. And so you're always looking for good pieces of content and then you simply find ways to make them better or basically build a skyscraper that's 10 stories higher than that particular piece of content. Well, you're going to want to use this particular Chrome extension that I'm about to show you right now. So let's grab this video right here. So this is a video by Brett Malionowski and what people used to do was come to the three dots and then show the transcript, copy the transcript, paste it in chat GPT, and then ask chat GPT to do some work with it. But there's a new Chrome extension that I want to show you right here where all I have to do is click on transcript and summary and it automatically generates the entire transcript. And then if I click on view AI summary, it will open a new tab. I can change it to GPT-4 because I'm on GPT+. Plus. But if you're going to change the model from GPT-3.5, you have to copy and then paste it back in. And then we wait for GPT-4 to do what it does. And this video discusses five AI tools, fireflies.ai, AI tool that records, transcribes, summarizes meetings, ingestai.io, tango.us, Canva AI suite, and hobby copy an AI tool for creating high converting email campaigns, including drip campaigns and email automations. That sounds like something I might look at. And so very quickly, that YouTube transcription tool was able to actually give us an outline of the video so that if I wanted to create a piece of content that was similar to this, but a skyscraper method, I could use his video as a template and then automatically compete against it by finding competitive advantages to it. I could even tell GPT-4 to create a video outline of AI tools that were actually better than these by turning on web access and then asking it to do so. And so I'm telling chat GPT-4 to give me five AI tools that are comparable to these, but are better. Now I will say that Canva AI suite is going to be hard to top, but let's see what we can get. 
So here we actually do have five tools that I can use to make a video very similar to his and try to beat his video and get better results than him. Or if I was just somebody looking to get information about more tools, instead of watching the full video, I just saved myself 13 minutes and 46 seconds because now all I have to do is look up each one of these individual tools and try the ones that I'm interested in. In the last tool I used needs no introduction. It's ChatGPT4 because it is just a wonderful tool to outline ideas quickly and easily and create a video. There are times when I have video ideas that I want to create and the logical flow is very difficult to nail down because it's a long argument. For instance, I have a video that I'm getting ready to post about YouTube shorts and the argument is kind of convoluted and complex for me at least. And I want to make it simple for my audience. To start the conversation, all I did was a brain dump and tell ChatGPT what I was thinking. And then I asked for a video outline and then I would just simply type in different ideas ChatGPT would automatically rewrite the entire video outline based on the new ideas I had given it and it would place those new ideas in the most logical place within the outlines. And then after a few times of generating the outline to make sure it was the way that I wanted it, I actually had it to start generating a transcript for the actual video in the different sections I would be recording. And the fifth tool that I use is a plugin called Web Chat GPT because it gives GPT web access by simply turning this button on or off and you're able to change the default prompt that ChatGPT will use with the web results that it returns based on your command or query. So the default prompt is the web results followed by the current date. And then the instructions are using the provided web search results, write a comprehensive reply to the given query, make sure to cite results using number URL notation after the reference. If the provided search results refer to multiple subjects with the same name, write separate answers to each subject. And then the query right here. And if you want, you can write a new prompt and there are tags to help you situate the web results, the query and the current date. So if you want up to date statistics, data and creativity, when you use it, make sure you install this Chrome extension when you use ChatGPT. Now you can see how easy it is to actually come up with new ideas for your content, research and position yourselves against competitors, quickly write a video script, record that video script, edit that video script, upload your video and repurpose that video across social media and several other platforms all with these artificial intelligence tools.